uh, what caused a bit of a controversy was that at the end of that document, it said that the agenda is non-exhaustive, which would mean that there will be something else up for discussion, which has not been disclosed as of now, leading to speculation, especially by the opposition, that the government has something up its sleeve that they do not want to disclose, possibly something that could upset uh, the opposition, India's, uh, the alliances, Apple Card, uh, and also going into election, a five-state election by year end. Meanwhile, also what's going to take place this time around is that, uh, which will be historic, that proceedings will move from the old parliament building to the new parliament building. Uh, the new parliament, parliament building had been inaugurated with a lot of fanfare, and from now on, uh, it will be where the parliament sessions will take place, and that switch over or that change will be witnessed in this special session. Meanwhile, the vice president of India and Rajya Sabha chairperson Jagdeep Dhankar hoisted the national flag at the new parliament building today. The function was attended by Lok Sabha speaker Om Birla, union minister and leaders of political parties in both houses, amongst others. Congress President Malik Arjun Kharge skipped the event earlier. He said that he would not be able to attend the flag hoisting event at the new parliament building because he had party meetings scheduled for today. This comes right ahead of the all-party meeting that is scheduled today, a day before the special session of Parliament commences. Invitations were sent through an email to all leaders of opposition parties to attend the meeting. It's a historic moment. Bharat is witnessing epochal change. The world is in total recognition of might, power and contribution of Bharat. We are living in times where we are witnessing development achievements which we never dreamt of. Our ground reality today is being reflected globally in the most affirmative manner and today's occasion is indeed historic and a milestone development. Pail 17 ko all party meeting to pahile bula gaya hai aur 2 3 din 4 pahile din to decision hua decision hone ke baad turant bataya gaya hai to nahi aaye to iske liye sab ke liye sab adiranjan ji kaise aaye aise sab ko सरकार को ही वो एक तरह इल्जाम लगाना इनका प्रैक्टिस बन मैं तो आ गए ना आई एम रिप्रेजेंट द पार्टी उधर इट विल नॉट सफाइज द मीडिया पीपल राष्ट्रीय ध्वज कांग्रेस सरकार में स्वीकार किया गया सर्वसम्मत से वो हमारी आन पान शान का प्रति हमारी एकता अखंडता का प्रति जिस तरीके से उसको छिन्न भिन्न किया जा रहा है आज राष्ट्रीय ध्वज के प्रति पूर्ण समर्पण के साथ कांग्रेस पार्टी खड़ी है देश की एकता और अखंडता की